ろそろこの少し変わったので、あれってドアって閉じるんでしたっけ？開けっぱでした。ああ、まあ、まあ、あ、ドア開けっぱ。開けっぱ。そうですね。多分この会場は二百人ぐらい入る。結構フルフルで、もしなんか座れない方とかでたらいい感じに詰めて調整してみてください。こ<笑>のめっちゃこう仕事してる。最初の洋介さんの話でもあったように結構、えー、外国人のスピーカーの人今日は多くてでいろんな国から来てたりするんですよアメリカだけとかじゃなくてなのでリアクションとか結構してあげると結構いいと思うのでフォーカスするのもいいんですけどぜひ面白いなと思ったら笑ったり。いいなと思ったら、うん、難しいですかね。<笑>ぜひなんかやってみてください。結構大事な。<笑>これ何回か「イエイ!」ってやる練習しますから<笑>あもう時間ですねじゃあそろそろ始めようと思います最初に彼女の紹介少しだけします最初英語で次に読んでそうあエラはソフトウェアデベロッパーベースのロンドンやフォンバンクーバーオリジナリー She's going around the world and gives some talks at conferences related to JavaScript or Node.js. And she come here to Tokyo today to give a new talk for us. And also,、uh, she will try to eat a lot more ramen, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, let's have a fun time. Yeah, Idi Ena san wa London ni sunde ru Kanada no JavaScript engineer de. Ironna conference de kogan suru kata nan desu. Kyo ni hon ni kite kure de. 日本に来るのっていうかアジアに来るのすごい初めてらしいのでぜひあの温かい拍手で迎えてあげてくださいでは拍手お願いします Okay, this is gonna be like a team effort Yeah, that's right <笑>、um, Hi,、um, I would like to talk today about building interactive MPM command line applications and I wanted to say hello And I am Irina,、um, Irina with L's on Twitter.、Um, and I'm known for being 80% Brahmin, which is why this conference is very <laughs> applicable to my interests.、Uh, like、uh, Dejira said,、um, I recently moved to London from Vancouver, so I moved from one rainy city to another rainy city, which is,、uh, <laughs> which is a pretty、um, terrible life decision, I guess, <laughs> in a retrospective. Um, but again, today I won't be talking about moving from a rainy city to a rainy city or ramen. I'll be talking about、um, interactive command line applications in the PM. Okay.、Um, okay. Yes. So, today, the interactive command line application to build the way 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 ちょっと。Which meant that I basically had to love command line applications because I couldn't run anything else. So, I think Linux is a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer, and I think it's a little bit of a computer
but I kind of didn't know what was going on. Uh, one of my favorite ones is Tar, uh, which has a flag and a path, a bunch of flags and a path to file, uh, where X was actually get. So these kind of get confusing, and you kind of don't know what's going on, and all you're building and all you're working with is a bunch of flags that you don't know what's happening. So, uh, command を置き入れのコマンドを打つ Initially, um, you would be working on this kind of confusing application. Um, it got confusing and more confusing. Um, and you would come into work, you know, it's your first day at your new job, you're starting a new, um, starting with your code base, and you come in on a Monday and you kind of go into this mode, you type this in, um, you don't know what's going on, but you have to do it because that's how your code works. So, そう、あ、えっと、Kind of a similar thing would be happening on a Tuesday. Um, you also don't know what's going on. On a Wednesday, similar thing, but you're you're smarter. Um, you've uh, you've asked your coworker. You kind of memorized it. You maybe wrote a gist. On Thursday, you go back to your gist. Um, you you know you have your gist. You know what's going on. But by Friday, you finally memorize the command, and you can go in and kind of sit by yourself. So again, a little bit confusing. So, uh, the command no meaning is not clear. For example, there are different strategies to implement. Yes. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 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 Yeah, a little bit confusing. So let's go back to the beginning. Um, let's go and look at what is exactly a command line application. Um, a command line application is essentially what we work with um, day to day. Um, you start off with something like Git. Um, Git rebase, probably something you do on a daily basis. Um, NPM, uh, you want to install this module, you want to save it. Uh, Vagrant, um, if you use Vagrant, you can be Docker. そう、あ、コマンドライン、アプリケーションとは何かについて改めて考えていきましょう。え、例えば、ギットの場合は、リベースをしてコミットの昔のコミットを持ってきたりして、昔のことを思い出すのに使います。NPM だと、例えばモジ
Um, so I went to the internet and got an answer from Wikipedia, and I thought it was actually pretty decent. Wikipedia does have some decent answers. So command line interface is a means of interacting with computer program where the user commands to the program in the form of successive lines of text. So uh, command line application to what is it? You need to think about it and search it out. This is what was written. これはユーザーが連続した長いテキストの情報を入力してプログラムにコマンドを伝えるコンピュータープログラムのことですと言っています。And what I found interesting was the fact that in fact you're issuing commands to the application and what I thought was was interesting is that you're issuing but you should be in fact interacting rather than just issuing. そうあコマンドイシューえっと。コマンドを伝えプログラムに伝えるという表現をされていたのが少し新鮮だったようで、実際はインタラプログラムと一緒に対話するものではないのかというふうに説明があるべきだと思います。So kind of, kind of instead of having these kind of flags and arguments and options and commands that we work with, it should be a little bit more interactive because I mean we do the same thing for the web. We work with the web, we interact with the web, but when we work within our command lines, um, we we don't do you know, the same thing. And so, in fact, we should be interacting. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the web no page とかだと対話的に登録とかを進めたりとかがあるので、それは本当に使いやすいからコマンドラインでも対話的にインタラクティブにやれる方が便利ではないですか。So I basically kind of decided to come up with a, a little bit more. Uh, I decided to come up with a little guide to interactivity. So I mean, we're all engineers. We we know um, how to write an API. We know how to probably put together a command line application. Um, what I want to do is kind of walk you through some of the things you can improve within your command line applications. I won't tell you how to exactly build it because um, I think that's So I decided to call it Irina's Guide to Interactivity, or your a way to level up your command line skills. So, 私たちの僕はソフトウェアエンジニアなので、API の使い方あるいは CLI アプリケーションの使い方、作り方について知ってると思いますが、これをより使いやすくするインタラクティビティ、対話性みたいなのを今日はレクチャーしたい。Okay, so you want to write a command line module. Uh, you go on. Uh, so I, I decided to say, okay, um, a bunch of us actually write command line modules, but I want to know what do people actually do this for. So I went on the internet again and I asked folks what they actually work with and what do they build these kinds of tools for. Um, and a bunch of different people came up with answers: band names, um, uh, inspecting and searching keys in database, which is pretty cool. Uh, moon phases in the CLI, um, audio file management, um, kind of fleet management and orchestration, and my favorite one, a bunch of <laughs> hearts that fit into 140 characters of a tweet. So, と友達に聞いてみたらあメタルバンドの名前をジェネレートするアプリやあーデータベースの検索やあーキーの検索やデータベースの初期設定などやるものやあ月の満ち欠けとかを分かっているようなコマンドとして、えー、と音楽データの、えー、管理をするようなコマンドそして、えー、と戦艦の管理やあ面倒な UI をの必要のないインディペンデンスを消すようなあ、まあ、そして最後に、えー、とツイートできるギリギリのハートの絵文字を丁寧に出力するコマンドとかもあるんですよね。What do we what do we build this in? I mean, there's a bunch of different ways. You can do this with Bash. You can do this with Ruby. You can go back and do this in Perl if you wish. But we're at a GNOME conference, so we're building this in Node. So, ah, eh, to command を作るやり方についていろんなやり方があり、Bash や Ruby 
たいパートナーともありますがこのカンファレンスの通りノードを使うのがベストでしょう。So basically when you're building a command line application the thing you're looking at is argument parsing and that's Kind of the main thing you work with when you build this out. So you start off with process rv.slice, but since we're working in Node, there's probably a bunch of modules that already do that. So you go on npm and you find that there is 275 different、uh, ways for you to be able to parse、um, an argument. So argument parsing in Node is pretty successful. コマンドの引数のパースをするのはいろんなやり方があって、えー、15? 200以上の種類のパッケージがあって、一つをピックアップするのはすごい大変です。So we're building this out in Node、um, and we're going back to this in guide to interactivity. So level one is argument parsing.、Um, I, my favorite package out there is Yargs. So most of the things I'll be talking about is、um, Built in YARGs, but obviously doesn't have to apply to that. You can use any tool out there.、Uh, there is 275 of them for your choosing. I'm just going to stick to YARGs.、Um, 最初のステップで必要なのは引数のパースです。そして多くのパッケージマネージャーがあパッケージがある中で YARGs っていうパー CNI あアーグメントパーサーがすごい使いやすいです。Okay, so kind of. The first thing is the fact that we use options in pretty much daily basis. Kind of back to、um, npm install,、um, dash g is your option, you're installing yargs, latest version of yargs.、Um, so the thing that the guide to that is the fact that let's, let's work with options.、Um, so, 毎日のように、えー、コマンドにオプションを追加してコマンドを実行していることだと思います。例えば npm install ハイフン G でモジュールのコマンドを入力したりとかです。But options on themselves are kind of pointless because dash f doesn't mean very much to you. So setting up something like an alias is becoming a little bit more interactive for the user. So you would work、um, with something like、um, setting up an alias to、uh, n dash n for name、um, or dash dash n if you want a much longer and much more comprehensive name.、Um, その多くのオプションはエリアスを持っていて、えー、より短いオプションの名前で実行することを可能にしていますで、えー、このヤークスを使った例だとあーネームっていうサブコマンドのオプションを N としてみたりあるいはハイフンハイフン N で実行することも可能であったりというのをこのコードでやっています。And both lead to the same result of you having,、um, in this particular example, of a Twitter note name, which is a little package I wrote、um, for very silly reasons.、Uh, you can use a dash dash file and dash dash name to provide、uh, your options, and they both have arguments、um, that follow with a file and a name that you pass into the application. So, a little bit more,、uh, a little bit less confusing than just dash n and dash f,、um, just a little bit. Easier for This could be something like setting up true if you feel like it.、Um, it could be setting up a config file that's default so your user doesn't have to provide it, or setting up anything else that, for example, you want to run the specific application in node version 6, or ver node version 6.7, or node version 7. You can kind of set that up as a default instead of having a user have to choose from that. アプリケーションがリ、えー、ストとするノードのバージョンをユーザーの入力なしでデフォルトの値として渡すこともできたりします。Um, all you have to do is call a dot help, and all it's going to do is look at your options commands or anything else you have、uh, in your RV object. 
um, and then put it into the help menu that looks pretty nice. Um, so this is on the compressed window, but it still looks pretty nice. So this is Twitter no name, and it takes uh, two uh, options uh, that have each an argument, and it takes a um, command, which is node or npm for the platform. And it gives you up like everything that you need to fill it out. So uh, why abs no uh, one key no de help っていうのを一行追加するだけでさっきのようにあったあいろんなオプションの設定にあるディスクリプションを自動で表示してくれることができます。それの実際の例がこれであの一行追加しただけでこういうことが簡単に実装することができます。Cool.、Um, so then, kind of going back to that help menu, you start setting up the user with、um, different things, and actually. The last time I've given this talk,、uh, folks weren't sure about which parts of that usage is what. So basically, you will have an option that's a dash dash, and you, in your usage, it would provide as a dash dash.、Uh, a command would just be as is.、Um, an argument doesn't show up on the slide, but an argument has these、um, uh, braces like that, and then normally follows an option. And anytime you'll have an optional param, so a command, an option, or an argument, it would go into the square bracket. そうえー、とヘルプにあるオプションという、えー、とものはハイフンハイフンから始まるように表示していてサブコマンドの場合は何もなくただコマンド名が表示されオプション表示、えー、必須ではない項目を入力しようとしたら3つ目の表記になってヘルプの,の,あの説明文の中で分かりやすく表示されます。So this is kind of standard among all not just node applications and you can、uh, look it up on docopt and they kind of describe how to Walk through what kind of help menus you set it up,、um, and if you, if we go back to、uh, this little GIF of the thing,、um, it sets it up so then there is an option in our an argument and the command that it takes command being option. So, ah,、uh, 実際のヘルプの表示の表示でえっとハイフンハイフンやハイフンの表示ができてあーまあちょっとここスキップします。So,、uh, the next thing is that、um, fine, we're getting a default. We have some aliases set up.、Um, we have a help menu. This is good, but we kind of want to get to the interaction part of it. So, we want to be able to get input from the users. And there's、uh, a bunch of different packages also available. You can run one from scratch, whatever box you wrote.、Um, there's one called prompt that I quite like、um, that you basically set up an object、um, and Basically, get the object from the user as they type it in, and then you're able to use that object later on. So, interactive ni ni user user no 入力をやヤングスの中で受け取るのに、宣言的にこうやってオブジェクトで書くことができ、受け取った後に入力データがオブジェクトで受け取ることもできます。So, as you told me how to have cats. Um, so, I'm going to show you how prompt works because it's actually kind of nice. And it's a cat's example, also a joke module. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you the demo of the demo. So, I'm going to show you the demo of the demo. So, I'm going to show you the demo of the demo. So, I'm going to show you the demo of the demo. So, I'm going to show you the demo of the demo. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm making it so hard for you. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you the demo of the demo. So, the story behind this is that a friend of mine asked why I have cats multiplying in my bedroom.、Um, so, I wrote a script to basically figure out how many cats I'll have at the end of my lifetime.、Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Um, basically how prompt works is that it asks you questions as you go along and then stores it in an object. So in this case, it's asking me total number of cats that I currently have, um, which is uh, initial, oh, initial number of cats. So I had one cat, and then in seven days, I ended up with two cats, um, and my age, don't tell anybody, 25, uh, which basically means that I'll have a, um, this number of cats at the end of my lifetime. えっと、最初、最初買った猫の数、あ、最初プロンクトの動きっていうのは、あ、対話的に質問が表示され、回答を入力することができます。この場合は、最初に買った猫の数、そして今持っている猫の数。最後に自分の年齢を入れると多分
it and it builds it out for you from a JSON file. So like very tiny, very dead simple, but I wanted to kind of illustrate how you can use commands in that way. So basically I'm working with two commands. I want to be able to run the application and I want to be able to configure the application. And I'm using um, I'm using command to be able to require those within your um, working the current working directory. And I'm also using demand to make sure that the user provides at least one of them. And that's what demand API does. So then in my, um, we'll start with run, uh, so run JS in uh, working directory, and requiring it like I would with any other module. Um, and then what happens is the fact that I have a command run that optionally takes an option file um, that a user can or cannot provide. And based on the fact that we're running the command, we're able to then look for the file and kind of figure out exactly what it is that we want to do. So then it's, again, the user doesn't have to do deal too much with options and we're able to construct the application that's a little bit more usable A for us and B for the user. Uh, and then config does something even simpler than this. Config file is more simple. All config does is that it's uh, based on whether or not you have a path, um, you're able to set up a user with a config file that they will be able to use from them on to construct that readme. Um, the idea behind the module is the fact that um, I have 10 or 15 different, uh, you know, projects I work on and they all are going to have the same kind of readme structure and I want to be able to replicate it over and over again. Um, so if I have a config file that I could use over and over again, I just want to config it right away and forget about it and then just run uh, my application over and over. to briefly mention something called Inquirer, which is pretty neat and nice to work with. It, you can do lists and you can do checkboxes and things like that, <laughs> but I won't show that because you don't have time. Checkbox and list no just on a quickly can do Inquirer to your command more and more. Please check it out. It's pretty much. <laughs> Um, so I guess the point of my talk is um, I wanted you to basically get out there and build command line applications um, and make sure it's easier for you to use in the future and easier for your coworkers to use in the future. I mean, I was giving you joke examples, but these joke examples could be taken to the real world and actually made um, your work life easier. あ、コマンドを使うと実際に仕事の効率が測れたりして、今日紹介したのはほとんどがジョークですが、実際にリアルワールドの実際に使えるコマンドというのは作れるので試してみてください。Right. Thank you so much for listening. Um
my slides are online and I will tweet them um, if you can type them up. Um, thank you.